Greetings and welcome to Autonauts. I'm Degray, and today we're going to be playing a brand new game on this channel. It just came out today, so uh, it's going to be very exciting. I've been looking very much forward to this game for quite a while now, ever since I saw it in Alpha first time. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Autonauts is a game all about automation. Um, as you, know, as you know, I normally play Factorio on this channel, but uh, this is a game in the automation department, so of course I'm gonna play it, uh, no doubt about it. So uh, let's just find ourselves a suitable planet and then uh, get started. Um, I've only checked out for a few minutes already to get the basic understanding, but other than that, everything you'll see is me seeing it for the first time. So. Uh, do comment if uh, you think there's something I should uh, do different, because I might make a lot of mistakes. Um, but what should we take for a starting area? Let's just take this. I don't know if it's good or not, but uh, it seems decent, eno decent enough. And for a world, let's call it Gallifrey. If any of you know that reference, uh, do write so in the comments, uh, if there's any Ducks among you out there, you might get it. Winky wink. But without much further ado, let's just start. So, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I've been looking forward to for this for quite a while, mostly because of the automation department, and you can build robots, and I love robots. So, welcome. I'm Otto Zero. And here to prepare you for a life as an astronaut. Explore, collect resources, craft structures, tools and machines, automate systems, establish industries, research and colonize. That is us, we're gonna do it. So basic controls, move around with normal quantities and scroll in and out. And X to zoom to ourselves. That seems simple enough. Left click to go somewhere. Go into the shaded area, see if we can find some of the things we need. Seems good. Find stone. Let's take all of it. Into the backpack. Pressing Q. Put it into a little backpack down here. Q to take it out. Oh, I have too much on me. Let's just drop it. There we go. Q. So hold down ALT to see what you can do. What you're holding. Okay, chop things. So time to chop some trees. Let's just explore this area so it's a bit... Oh, a ton of trees. So let's try and chop this one. Don't have the fruit trees used for anything, but uh, it might be. Who knows? Right click on the ground to drop the stone. Huh. Good. As your technology evolves, you'll unlock blueprints to build structures, machines, and more. Click on the icon or press E to access your structure blueprints. Ah. Clear surface. So this is pretty much where we make a lot of simple uh, things. Let's just place it right here. Close it down. So let's collect the parts we need. Two locks. Let's go and pick up a lock first. You left click and then you right click to throw it in. Right click and then we need two sticks. Should be easy enough. There we go. Basic tools and parts. Better chopping tool. Left click, get the crude axe and see if we can't get what we need. So we need a stone. We have a ton of stone here. Let's just grab a bit and take it closer to it. So we have some in the future we can use. That's a big pile of stone. And then we need a stick again. Sticks. 
We have mushrooms. Buried trees. A bush. Oh, our first tool. Let's pick it up. Let's just move this out so we can see it a bit. So we can see the chopping progress. And let's chop it into planks. Essential parts for machines and bots. Chop the planks one more time. For poles. And there we are. Sweet! Basic parts. Let's get... Ooh, a bot assembly. Cool. Let's see here. Get all the parts we need. So we need... Oh, don't chop it, please. Throw it in. Let's get some more logs. Have some over here. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Move those logs. One more. And then we just need to get one more log. Put it over here and then chop it up. Since this seems the most efficient to do. Because chopping up down here will take two trips to go and get the planks. So getting it closer to a uh, sort of crafting bench is always good. That is just efficient and good in the automation kind. So let's build the rest of this. There we go. <laughs> I love how it's building just by jumping on it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite cool. Garube. This basic bug workshop is your gateway to automation. How do we get a bot soon? Ah, <gasps> basic bot. That means we can soon automate things. Oh, that is brilliant. So let's make a bot. We'll need more locks. Let's go grab some down here. Might have to chop down some trees. Oh, I have to remember to pick it up. Left click to pick them up and right click to drop it off. I <laughs> love how it just goes through the trees. <laughs> like it's nothing. Let's see here, let's get one of these home and let's chop down a tree as well. Sneak. We need a pole, we need a tree seed. We need to chop this a bit. We need three planks, but we only get two from this. So let's chop down a tree as well. Choppy choppy. And there we are. And let's pick up all these planks and throw it into the machine. And hopefully we get ourselves a our little bot that can do some things for us. New bot to charge it. Our first bot. That's cool. Also not a symbol. So let's see if we can figure out how to automate things. Hopefully it's somewhat simple and not simple, but hopefully you're able to do very complex tasks. Imagine if I could program myself into a robot. So it'd be a robot building robots. And then we'll just have the apocalypse. <laughs> And then we'll build a stuck in it, and then everything will be cool. So a crude axe will make one. So that's just stone six. Luckily we have some right nearby. Pick up the crude axe and throw it to the bot. Ready to roll. Follow my instructions exactly. Roger that. Got your Kudex ready. I do now. Press space. Left click the bot, which apparently had an empty brain. So let's record. Ooh, record. Okay, how do you chop down a tree? I'll show you. Just like this. There we go. And then we'll create a loop. Around that and press play. Great, your first automation. Your bot won't stop working. Stop, stop work until it runs out of power, break its tool, or has no more tags in the search area. So I'm guessing the white is the search area. So that's uh, 
easy enough to understand. And look at it go. Now we have a bot chopping down trees for us. Let's automate more. We don't need to see the bot's brain for now, so close it. Roger, roger. So let's make another bot. Luckily, it's easy to get things now, because the bot is at least doing the tree chopping automation part. Let's pick up some more and get them back to the base. I wonder if we can give it a bigger area. Oh, can we just click on a button? Oh, uh, stop. Find nearest trees, record. Ah, yes, we can make this a lot bigger. So let's just line it up with, let's just say the mushroom corner. Then we have somewhere we know where to put something else because I'm guessing we're getting more robots in the future. So there we go. Then close it down. And now it has more trees to chop. That is perfect. So here are some planks. Ah, let's chop this one. And pick up the planks again. Get some seeds. And get a pole. This should be a second robot now. Great. Left click to charge. Ready to teach. Crude spade. So let's assemble one of those. This is going very well. Guessing you have to pick it up now. Pick up the crude spade. Whistle, click. This seems simple enough. How to dig holes. Let's go down here and dig a hole. And it's still a left click. I have to get used to right click picking up and left click doing things. Bot searcher. Ah, it's teaching me now. And let's do it right here so we have the same area as the chopping tree. Or the tree chopper, the lumberjack. And then we'll just... Oh, give it that one. And press play. So now that should be digging holes for us forever. Look at it go. So one more bot, it seems we need. For some reason I have an idea of it planting seeds. Because we do have seeds lying around, so... Uh, that would be the most logical solution. Let's chop this. Chop one of these to the pole we need. Then chop this one to the planks. Pick it up, throw it in. And let's continue with our second bot. Second or third bot. Then we just need one seed, I'm guessing. Yes. And then we're ready to automate more things. Charged again, as always. Yay, let's finish automating this basic fa uh, forestry. Yes, I'll do you. I'll do that one. I'll record. I'll pick up a tree seed. And then drop it in a hole. Repeat forever. But before I do that, I would love to max out the areas a bit. So we have the same blueprints. As we said just before. Because I think that will be a good thing to do. So uh, they know where to go. Check out that bot. Picking up a seat. Oh! Tutorial complete! And our first certificate. Ding! <laughs> Basic commemor commemorative slap. See if I can pronounce that correctly. Welcome to the Academy. You just earned your first Autonaut certificate. 
Here's a new plan and how a new certificate is earned. Or the certificate to earn. You can pin the plan to reference it while playing. Let's do that. Guessing you do it right there. All blueprints and related parts can be found here. You can even click on parts to see where they come from. A handy hints in the other one. So we, if you can pin that one. What up out of here? Oh. So this is some of the crude items. Metal spade. Metal hoe. Oh, she has. Do we have sheeps then? At some point. A good frail? Uh, do you guys know what that is? Cereal? A beating bush? Okay, one of you guys know what that is for. I haven't really heard about that name before. Might just be my foreign brain that doesn't understand English properly. Pitchfork. Hay bale. What else do we have? Whoa. Data storage, brains, power. Some kind of wheels thingy. Ooh, we can make like... Why does it look like we're gonna make a Power Ranger? Or something like that? <laughs> or oh, a tank thingy. And building things, food things, cloth, or clothes even. <laughs> a toy horse and a cart. Oh, that's quite cool. And... A lot of trees probably shows us a lot of thing about what they do with the wildlife. Vehicles? A canoe? Can we sail? Oh, that's gonna be cool. That is... Yeah, that is... Uh, yeah, <laughs> a baby. <laughs> and pallet store items. So this is like a crate in Factorio, I'm guessing. Store things where people can pick up from it. It seems we can stack them and they can just store more things. Might be different sizes. Research station. We know that from Factorio. Research items to continue down. So, and hints. That is good. So let's continue. Our tutorial is, tutorial is complete. So, ship. Okay, so do we just do it on our own now? Whatever we want to do. Seems so. So now we have basic tree automation. Um, bot tracker and plants. I'm guessing this is what I should go for first. So chop down trees. Doesn't it count when one of these does it? Bot tracker. This one is saying something. Oh, it has no trees to chop down. But it should grow soon over here. But what if I just chop down some trees myself? Would that count towards our progress? It does, so let's just chop down three trees ourselves. Since it seems this one has, uh, has done it all for us. And I'm still wondering what that one that pops up is. It seems like some kind of achievement points. Or it might be from doing something that counts towards some certificates, maybe? Commemorative slab. I don't know why that is so hard for me to pronounce. But it is. Ooh, that gives us the chopping block. Ah. Okay. Here's a new set of plans to complete and certificates to earn. Reforce. Reinforce your operations. So let's click this one. But what does that say? Start lesson. Ah, oh, then it will help us to do what we need to do. So let's just try and follow that for now. Since this is our first time. So let's make another bot. We'll need some logs. We should have a ton. Let's, can we close this one down? We can. Let's see here. Let's grab some more logs. This one seems to just run out of power. So that means you just hit it again. There go. Starts to dig again. It seems to run out of power quite fast. Oh, and we're chopping trees. 
the newly grown trees. Let's see here, let's chop this. Let's get the planks. That's the three planks and one pole. And hopefully we have some seeds left. We do. They haven't all been plant uh, planted yet. And your bots. Because we need to build a pallet. How do we do that? So we need a chopping block. Let's just set it over here. I think that might be good. And that will need a lock. Let's just hit this one. So it's not to go again. And one crude axe. So grab a rock. Throw it in. Grab a stick. Throw it in. And then throw it into that one. And jump. Of course we just jump on things to build. So now we need to build a pallet. Is it in here somewhere? Ah, there we are. Um, should we store things over here? What if we do it like that for now? There we are. Oh, they seem kind of annoyed. So let's make some tools for them. So we'll need a crude axe. We just made that. So that's one stone, one stick. This is probably one of the things I want to automate is probably the crafting of these. That'd be quite cool at some point. So, pick up you, give it to that one. Oh, pick it up, please. And give it to him. And he'll need a shovel. And a stick. To make it happy again. And here you are. Continue on your merry way. So we need we need two poles so that's pretty much just chopping up this one let's see here there we are we got a storage right click on the storage to add to it you can see what items are stored when also notice the line analysis pops up. Oh, down at the right corner. So right click, nothing stored. Oh, we need to store logs. We'll just do that. And the last log, let's see. Foundation selected. Uh, what do you mean foundation selected? Oh, there we go. That's the groundwork in place. So I'm guessing we need this one to chop planks over here. Go get a log and chop it again. Let's see if that is what we have to do, because that is what I would do. So yeah, click the log storage. Take out log, take it over here. We have to right click, chop, chop, chop. And then do that forever and press play. This should just go back and forth now and chop and make planks for us. Ready to teach the old bot some new tricks. Okay. So let's stop that one. Record. Until full. 
until full. Then click a target. Click this one. And repeat forever. So that means it will chop until the chopping block is full and then it will stop and it will do that forever. Whoa. You won't, bot won't do anything if the chopping block output area is full. So make a new bot to store the planks on a new pallet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That goes insane. So let's make a new bot. Let's just do that ourselves and craft the things. So again, we'll just take a log from here. Let's probably get a bot to take logs from out here, put it into this one. And now we have the planks right here. We can just steal those. I'm guessing soon to start to take them. As soon as it goes below some threshold, it'll go grab a new one and chop up things. What if it only stores two at a time then? Let's just take one more to see if that is the case. There we go. Get the pole. And let's get this one. A new bot. <laughs> and we want to make a new pallet one then to store the things in. Uh, let's just do it over here for now. Oh, we should probably do it over here. Then, then it's easy accessible for uh, a bot crafting. We can always move it later. From what I understand, we should be able to move things. So that means we'll get a log. Go up here. Let's get another log. Let's make some oh, planks we have. We can just take them over here then, the planks. Wonder if it goes crazy if it can't take any logs. Oh, it goes crazy might be uh, too big of a word. But let's see if we can't just give it one more log here so it starts working again. And then we'll start these again. And you can start. So two poles. Let's just grab a plank and turn it into a pole. Oh, I need a crude axe for myself again, it seems. Um, that was just sticks and stones. May not break my bones, but they will definitely make a crude axe. Oops, I put it in. Oh, you can store planks in your inventory. I wonder if you're able to pick, run around with more than one uh, plank at a time. Don't really know what the uh, what works, but there we are. <laughs> that should be another storage. Didn't forget this one to take planks from here to there. We should be able to figure that out by ourselves now. Record. You will take planks. Pick up plank and you'll drop it off here. Is that pretty much what you do? That seems good enough. Move to plank, pick up plank, move to pallet. Wait one second, add pallets to storage. Can we take that one out and just do a loop like that? Or should we just do it until this one is full? Until full, until this one is full. And then loop that forever. So you take the plank from here, move the plank to here. Oh, it shows where it goes. Pick up plank, move to pallet. Add to pellet storage and then start over until this one is full. That seems good. And there's no plank because this one has no things. 
Oh, we want two chopping blocks. So let's just make one more. It seems that's why we didn't continue, but I think this one will work as well. <laughs> let's make a chip chopping block right there. So this one will just wait here until this one gets something to do. I need one crude axe. Can we just do it like that? We can. Lumbra. Two built. Then you should work now. Question mark. Let's see here. Let's get ourselves a little crude axe first. And uh, see, can we go into it? Oh, there we go. Oh, because it, oh, it's just chopping down trees. Huh. Lumberjack shirt and lumberjack hat. Another commem commemorative, commemorative slap. But I have to figure out why this one isn't going. Is it in here? Why won't you go? We have all the things we need for it. Oh, it's because we need plank stores and pole stores. So, uh, yeah, let's just set that up. So this part is working, this part is working. So in theory, if you take this one and throw that into there, this one should pick it up, chop it, then throw it over here. Then we should probably do, what's it called, or not the storage in between here to make the poles. So you have the poles ready for this area as well. Because here comes this one. So let's try and build another storage area right here. Right next to the other one. Or should we make ourselves a small amount of room? That might be good. But look at them go. Missing things. There you are. Please go and chop some things. We have all the things we need. And let's just craft a ton of crude axes and whatnot now. It seems we will need quite a bit. And let's go pick some pick up some stone. Where else do we have stone around here? Let's go explore a bit and find some. Come on, stone. All trees. Oh, a rose, a wild rose. Here's some stone. Here's more stone. wonder if that is stone patches, if you see grey on the ground. That's huge stone. Might need something else to destroy those. Well, here's free at least. That should give us some of what we need. And look at the bots go. All happy. That's... Crude spade is one of the things we need. Do we have any sticks? We have a ton of sticks. There we are. Let's continue up here. Drop them off. And then make a lot of things we need. Can we make more than one at a time? What if we just do that? Can we stack two? Of course, we'll just stack on top of each other, because that is completely normal. So now we should be able to, easy to make uh, the things they need. So what I want to do now, what if we can make a bot that collects logs for us? I think that is what we should try to do. Since I don't want to go pick up all the logs, that is not the correct way to do it. That is definitely not the correct way to do it. Let's see here. Planks. We have a ton of planks now. Look at that. Because they're right next to this. It's so easy to do. One pole. And one seed. Let's just charge this one over here. So let's make a log collecting bot. Should be easy enough to do. Ooh. Ooh, did I pick it up? Did not mean to do that. But I'd like to record for you. I'd like for you to 
Move to lock. Pick up lock. In this area. And move after you've picked it up. Move it over here. <laughs> and drop it in. And loop that until... Until that one. It's full. And do that forever. I think that's right. If not, do comment if I'm making a huge mistake. But I think this should be a work to pick up logs. Look at that. We've automated the chopping of trees. The collection of logs. The dropping in of logs. So pretty much now all the way down to planks is automated. That is really cool. So that... We need to store a ton of things. Planks stored, planks chopped, poles stored. So we need to make this one as well. Let's see, you can just steal a lock from here. That is mine now. You'll just have to wait for it to bring some more, since I'm way more important than you. Let's see here. That's the locks. Then we just need poles. And we should pretty much just make those next to this. Oh, this is the pole storage. Sorry. So that is fine. We'll take one of these. Throw it just right here for now. Let's just get ourselves a crude axe. There we go. Oh, this is. Uh, I'm loving this game. It's getting better and better for every minute you play it. Because you're starting to automate more and more things. Because look how many minions I have. If there's something I love, it's bots. And things do. People do things for me. So, what we need to do now is. Craft the bot that takes planks from here, chops it into poles over here, and puts it into this one. So let's just make a bot. A bot. And they are just dropping in items like crazy right now. That is extremely easy to do because everything is just right next to us. Now it's free that, and then just one pole. We can just chop one and then we almost have the planks and as soon as we have that I think we are getting to a good stopping point for this episode one because uh, this is oh, I could go on for days but but I have to end at some point <laughs> so let's do this charge you I'd like to record for you I'd like for you to go to this one and pick something up Drop it off over here. Don't wait. No need for that. Nope. We don't move it like that. That's wrong. Uh, let's just stop recording. How can we delete this? Go out. Go out because that was completely wrong. Let's just take that out and put it back. Because what I want to do is this. Move to plank storage. Take plank from storage. These two, take plank, then we go over here and chop it instead because we want to make it into poles. And then you'll do that until. until chopping block. So that one is full, and then do that forever. And then press play. So now we should have. Is that correct? Why does it look so angry? Plank stores, take plank from storage with chopping block. Oh, it's because it's full. It's not doing anything. Oh, sorry. Let's put that down again. And then we would like to make one more bot. That's gonna be our... Uh, take from that one into the plank storage. And then we should be golden in terms of automating all the basic resources, in terms of wood, that is, at least. So, you. <clears throat> no, don't pick you up. I'd like to record for you. I'd like for you to pick up, <clears throat> sorry, these and drop them off right there.
Oh, did I make a plank storage again? Whoops. Is that a different kind of storage in here? Oh, I can I can probably change it then, can't I? To something else? Maybe if I pick it up. Place it down. Let's just move me out the way and see if uh, I'm correct about this. And then you'll drop... Drop it over here again. Where's our little bot? We're teaching you? I think it's you we're teaching. Let's record for you. You'll go here, pick that one up. Drop it off right there. And you'll continue that until it's full. So let's see here, repeat until that one, oh, until that one is full, take those two out, and repeat forever. So pick up poles until that is full, and then continue. Let's see if this works. Now I should just go back and forth. This should pick up uh, these to go over here. This one picks up the logs. Let's of course stop working now since we're not chopping down any trees. But look at that. We have now automated our entire forest thing. And uh, we have poles, planks, and logs. So this is a quite good basic setup. So um, I think I'll end the episode here. We've got a ton done. And if you enjoy watching content like this, do like and subscribe and hit that bell button and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode because I have a feeling this is going to be quite a long series since it incorporates all the things I enjoy about Factorio with the uh, automations in the automation department with uh, a bit more uh, logistics kind of programming so that's uh, that's quite cool so as always I've been Degray. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.